This video is going to show you how to use split view and slide over view on your iPad. Using split view and slide over view, you can enormously ramp up your productivity. This is split view. It allows you to put two separate apps side by side. So I've got a web page open in Safari on the left and the notes app open on the right. And I can change how much each app is represented by moving that center handle. You can either have 75%, 25% or 50%. So this is 50%. Then I could have 75% for the website, 25% for notes, or you can do it the other way and have notes grab more real estate. This is slide over view. You can put a second app on the left or right side of the panel. So I've got Safari open underneath and notes on the top. And using that top handle, I can drag it from one side to the other. So it floats over the app underneath it. You also get the option to hide it off the screen and bring it back. So if I want to remove it, I'll just slide it off. And when I want it back, I'll slide it back. So let's look at how you actually get this to work. So to add a second app on the screen from the dock in split view, open one of the apps. I'm going to open Safari and then drag up the dock and tap and hold the app that you want to put onto split view. So you're going to tap and hold notes, drag it up and I can either drag it to the left and it makes room. And once I drop it, it will become a split screen with notes on the left or I can drag it to the right and drop it and put notes there to create the split screen. And then, as I said before, you can change the, the width of the two apps. To remove split screen, just drag the app you don't want off the screen. So if I want to remove notes, I'm going to grab that handle and just drag it off. And split screen is back to one app. Now, if you want to add a second app to split screen from the home screen, it becomes a little bit more complicated and awkward. If I want to put maps into split screen with notes, this is how you would do it. First of all, open up the main app. So I've got notes app open with a new note visible. Then I have to tap the home button, tap and just drag off a little bit to the left or right, the maps app. Then with the other hand, so I'm still holding with my right hand, the finger on my right hand, tap notes, and you can see maps is still there because I haven't let go, and then just put it into split screen, drag it there and drop it, or if I want it the other way around, drag it there and drop it. So I'm going to take maps and drop it there. Second app to split view using Spotlight Search. First of all, Go to search, I can do that from any home screen just by dragging down from the middle of the screen and typing the app I want to find in the search bar. So I want to put Word together with the Notes app. So I need to tap and hold on Word and just drag it away slightly with my other hand while I'm still holding on to Word. Tap the Home button open up notes and I'm still holding on to Word, then I just need to position it where I'd like the, the split screen to occur, left or right of the Notes app, and then drop it. And I can adjust the width. It's much more awkward doing it that way. If you're going to be using split screen for regular apps, then it's advisable to put the apps that you're going to use into the dock. So you can put a folder of apps into a dock. Just take one out. So I'm just going to tap and hold on the dock till the apps start to wiggle. Take one out. Then find a folder. Just for, for example sake, I'll just pick this file manager one. Drag it into the dock. Tap the home button to stop wiggling. So next time I want to put a, an app into split screen from that folder. So open the first app drag up the dock, tap the folder, tap and hold the, the app that you want into split view, 
and just drag it out of the folder. Folder disappears and then you can drop it into Split View. So if you're using a lot of apps in Split View, think about organizing your dock, putting some folders into them. To use Slide Over, you simply drag an app to the center of the screen and then release it. So it will open up Safari. And if I want to drag some photos from a, from a web page into the Photos app, but I don't want to do it in Split View, I can drag up the dock, tap and hold the Photos app and just drop it on screen. Instead of tapping and holding the Photos app and dragging it to the extreme right, because if I do that, it's going to create Split View. You just drop it on top. It's like a floating app. And now I've got all my uh, Photos app and I could take a photo from a web page and drag it into the Photos app. Uh, with Slide Overview, you can change what side of the screen you want it. So using the, the handle there, just slide it back if I want it on that side. But it's running on top of the app underneath. To hide the app, you can just drag it off the screen completely. And then with your finger, slide it back onto the screen. And you can only slide it off to the right. If you want to turn a slide over panel into a split view pane, position where you want that pane to occur. So if I want photos to appear on the left, I'm going to drag it over to that side. If I want it to appear on the right, I'm going to drag it over to that side. Then pull down the slide over panes edit handle. So right at the top there, I'm going to pull it down. And as I do, it turns into a split view and you just let go. And now you've got split view where you can use that handle to reposition the size. To put it back into slide overview, just drag down the handle again and now it's become slide overview again. To swap an app in slide view. So if I don't want the photos app, but I want the notes app, drag up the dock. I want notes to become the slide over. So I'm just going to uh, drag that one up and as you saw the photos app just disappears you can only have one instance of a slide over window so now I've got notes if you want to take your multitasking even further you can open three apps at once two in split view and one in slide over view so I'm going to open Safari then put notes into split view and then open email in slide overview. So when I tap and hold mail, if I drop it on the left, it will replace Safari and we'll still have split view. If I drop it on the right, it will replace notes. So I need to drop it right in the middle. Now you can see they're grayed out when I hover. When it's in the middle, you can just drop it. Now you have mail in slide overview. Now the other two apps are grayed out, so when I tap notes, the split view becomes active and now I can interact between the two split view apps. Mail has just slipped off, but I can only interact with the slide over app on its own. I can't drag anything, copy anything, so I can only interact with mail on its own. Now I believe this might change in iOS 12 where you'll be able to interact with all three. But it might be useful. You could perhaps you could open the music app and be playing music, changing songs and playlists and just drag it off the screen when you don't want it. But there's an option for that. So in this video, I showed you the various ways that you could multitask in iOS 11 with split view and slide over view.